Good morning and welcome back to WKNI TV 25 and uh, we're certainly honored to again to have uh, Mayor Earl Johnson hang in there with us and talk about the city of Andalusia and the progress that we have uh, uh, to the uh, uh, city of Andalusia coming through and, and we're talking about infrastructure, we're talking about all that, but while we're at commercial break, you brought up another fact, another factoid. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a big factoid and, and it was a complete surprise to us. There's a gentleman who has spent a lot, his, quite frankly, I guess his career uh, doing research across America uh, of the best communities, the best cities in the, in the United States to live, in which to live. And, uh, and lo and behold, he has named Andalusia as the 49th best small city in the United States to live. Wow. And that and that's he, he selected 60 and we're 49th. Only one other town, uh, one other city in, in Alabama, uh, landed in that category with us, and 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 that's uh, Fairhope, Alabama. And everybody knows the, you know, knows about Fairhope and and uh, how beautiful Fairhope right. is, and and uh, on the bay, uh, Mobile Bay, and they were ranked 60th. Wow. And so, uh, we're extremely proud of that, and we're going. Uh, uh, Again, we had nothing whatsoever. I say we, the city of Andalusia, didn't even know that that survey was going on. We had no idea, and, and we got a call uh, just out of the blue telling us about this. And so, we're 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 looking up this information. Going to get more information about the gentleman that did the work. Uh, he's a he's a retired uh, educator. I understand has a Ph.D. degree and has been working on this for several years. And as uh, and so we're excited about what that says about Andalusia and how how we're beginning to reap some benefits from the, all the hard work we've been doing for the fa past few years. And, and, uh, and, and there are people all over this country that look at those kinds of lists and say, well, you know, I want to move somewhere in the south or I want to move somewhere uh, near the coast or I want to move somewhere in warmer weather. And they, 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 they take this, these lists and they study the communities. And that's how sometimes people decide on where they want to locate or where they want to move a, a, a business and uh, so it's just a tremendous honor for uh, the city of Andalusia and a tremendous achievement that we that we have received that we didn't even know we were going to get so it's not something that we were uh, uh, aiming for but we're very very happy and very pleased that we were named as the 49th best small city in the U.S. To, in which to live so it's exciting. It is, and, and everybody you know out there that's in any business or, or uh, knows uh, that numbers play a big role, yep. and, and it's just like with uh, broadcasting. We number ratings and stuff like that for broadcasting when you have a TV station or radio. You know, those numbers mean advertisers. It means more business for you, as does these type of numbers for right. the community as well. We had the opportunity, we've said it a couple of times already this morning, to have the uh, uh, president of LBW uh, Community yeah. College on yesterday. What a character. That man is just a wonderful individual. Yeah, Dr. Rydell is a, is a real asset to, to not only Andalusia, but to the entire area in which LBW is service area, which includes Butler and Crenshaw and Covington counties, primarily Conecuh County. And... Uh, and we're just uh, very pleased to have Dr. Rydell and his family in our community. He's, he has a vision for LBW, uh, and he's already put that vision uh, into play and, and uh, has made some improvements on the campus out there. Uh, we, the city, worked with him and, and uh, some redesign and, uh, of, the, of the sidewalks and uh, some of the uh, pedestrian areas to make the campus uh, more pedestrian friendly. <laughs> And quite frankly, uh, more like a college campus, to, to, so that the students and folks who are visiting out there uh, enjoy their surroundings, and, and it becomes more uh, collegial, to, to use a word uh, fitting for that situation. But uh, uh, that we think that uh, that work is going to make a huge improvement to the campus. And uh, of course, he, I'm sure he discussed their plans of, of the LBW Foundation to build a new. Uh, housing facilities uh, uh, adjacent to the campus that will house approximately 96 students, and uh, this is this is a trend that's going on around the country for community colleges. Uh, I, I'll give you uh, uh, 
and, and it also provides a much needed resource in our community because uh, we quite frankly have a housing shortage in Andalusia. And uh, to, to uh, show you how extreme that is, a couple of years ago I happened to be out at the Holiday Inn Express one morning for some reason and uh, there were three ladies in the lobby of, uh, of the hotel and they were parents of uh, students who were coming to LBW and they there had three sons and they were coming to play baseball at, at LBW and be students at our campus, uh, at our school. And they had been in Andalusia for two days searching for a adequate housing for their sons uh, to live because they lived down, at, uh, down in Florida and uh, other parts of, uh, it's, it's too far for their children to commute as, as, as so many students do at LBW. It's, you know, lots of, almost all folks commute or they live here in the area. And uh, it was too far for their, their students to commute back and forth and participate uh, in the LBW uh, baseball program and the college and to go to college here. And they were just in a, in a, a panic, quite frankly, on what they were going to do. And uh, this new facility uh, that the LBW Foundation is, is funding and financing uh, will go a long way in addressing uh, the needs of LBW with respect particularly to those, a those athlete, uh, student athletes who come to our community from distances that are too far uh, to commute or and, uh, they don't have anyone to live with locally. So uh, it's exciting. In fact, we had the uh, developer yesterday came and spoke to Rotary Club and gave a great uh, presentation about that project and uh, should see work commence on that fairly quick. And uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be another great asset for our community and the LBW. And we're you know we're excited that that's taking place. Well, education, Mayor, as we all know, is a very uh, important part of infrastructure, and, yep. and uh, Andalusia certainly is blessed with some some uh, great uh, facilities and some great educators and a, a wonderful superintendent, uh, and yep. he can even sing. That's right. So you know. Well, you know, I, when it gets down to it, that's one of the things that that uh, that helped us get this 49th rating is our education system. Not only our city school system, but LBW. And, and the location of, of other school uh, education facilities near, near Andalusia. And, uh, you know, we're working real hard. Uh, as you know, we talk about it all the time and, and transforming our economy into a more high-tech type economy with it, that require uh, people to have more training and more education. And so it's our responsibility as leaders uh, in the community to make sure that those assets, those education assets, are out there and available to our community so that when our young folks graduate from Andalusia High School and uh, want, to, want to get more technical training or more education, more academic training, they can get it right here in Andalusia without having to leave at least for two years. And then, and then they, if they want more than that, then they go off to, to a university level program. But uh, uh, LBW and Dr. Rydell, are, uh, with, with his leadership, uh, and, and the other folks he has, he has uh, with him on his team are doing a wonderful job, and I congratulate him, congratulate the foundation for this, this fine project that they're about to begin. Well, I'm, I'm going to go to Andalusia High School for a second, and, and the work that's gone over there, and the, uh, uh, I was floored walking into that indoor yeah. uh, football uh, practice you know, area. I, I, I don't yeah. know what they call it, but I guess that's it. Uh, it's unheard of. Well, it, 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 there are some others in the state, and uh, but but I, I I dare say there's not any as nice as that one in the state. Uh, and uh, you know, again, we were fortunate in getting some uh, almost no cost money. Uh, in fact, it's reverse interest rate, pay back less than we borrowed. Uh, uh, that of course handled by the Board of Education. But not only does that have the indoor practice facility, and it's not just for the football team, all, all sports are using. In fact, our soccer team has used it on rainy days, and uh, I understand the band from time to time goes in there and practices. Uh, uh, maybe not full maneuvers, but in different right. groups. Uh, it can be used by baseball and soft, the girls' softball program. And uh, I mean, it, it's not just football, right. even though it looks like a football field. <laughs> uh, but there's also the great the weight training room is in there, uh, the dressing rooms, the coaches facilities, the coaches offices, meeting rooms, uh, and it, it just it, it's another asset that we're putting in place for our young people so that they 
can get the best education, the best training, the best sports programs in the state of Alabama. And, uh, and we are pursuing that, uh, and, and soon we'll see construction start on the new uh, junior high school uh, facility school, yeah. and, uh, that will be located on the campus with, uh, with, at Andalusia High School. And uh, again, it's just uh, you know, a tremendous improvements uh, that, that uh, will, will keep us at number 49 or move us up to number one. Of course, that's our, our, our goal is to be the best that's small right. city in the, in, the, in the United States in which to live, and we're not going to stop until we get there. Well, Mayor, I, I, if, if people come into the community, and I just want you all to ride the airplane with me here for a second. They come into town, they're looking to uh, place a business or, or do something in the community. One of the first things they're going to look at is if they have children and they're going to have employees, they're going to look at the education system. Right. All right. They're going to go by Andalusia Elementary School and look at that. Well, you, you already know what that is. If you drive by it, been in it, you know what that is. It's there. It's a wonderful facility. You go over to the middle school, which is being replaced, but that's still a good facility, yeah. and it's and it's it's uh, uh, been taking care of business for a number of years, and, and uh, some great teachers and faculty there. Right. Then you come over to the high school, and you go, whoa, okay, look out. We've got a great place here. Then when they get out of high school, LBW. Right. So, and, and with all this going on, it's a great thing. Yeah, and and, and the great thing about LBW is uh, it offers not only academic training but also right. technical training. And that, and I, I don't want to. Uh, I, I, you can't overstate the importance of technical training as we as we move in more into the technical uh, area of industry in our community. Uh, you're going to need a certain amount of academic training, and, right. and, and they're going to get that in high school, and they're going to get that uh, at LBW as well. But the technical training is, I think, where the future lies for our young people, yes. because you can go get some technical degrees now uh, right here at LBW, and, and, and there are jobs out there waiting for these folks that pay 50000 and above right now in, in and around Andalusia, Alabama. So. Uh, you know, you, it's hard. To, it's hard to go get a BS degree at a, at a major university in any in any field. Quite frankly, uh, save a couple of three fields, but almost any field, uh, a liberal arts degree or just a business degree, it's hard to get go, get out of college with that and, and no experience and start earning fifty or fifty five or sixty thousand dollars a year. But we actually have some jobs in Covington County right now that you can get technical if you get your technical certificate. And get certified in certain areas. You, there are jobs out there that will pay you fifty thousand dollars a year, and and doesn't stop there. I mean, it goes up. Right. So that those are the kinds of that's the kind of economy we're trying to build here, and that's again and it's diverse, and it is diverse exactly. So it's uh, you know we're excited about where we are. We've been working awful hard for the last fifteen years to get uh, and longer than that, quite frankly, uh, obviously, but really uh, focused on on these issues for the last 12, 15 years. And, you know, we're seeing some success now. And, and, we are, and we're seeing other people call us, call us for our success. Not, not, we're not like we're always bragging on ourselves and bragging on our community. There are people from outside our community and they'll come in and say, wow, y'all need to come look at Andalusia, Alabama. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break one more time here while you're right. still here, Mayor, if you don't mind hanging in there. Uh, there were three wise men many years ago that followed a bright star and they found something wonderful and and here people are looking at this bright star of Andalusia and they're coming and they're going to be coming in groves. I want to talk a little bit about, uh, you talked about technical, uh, the incubator over at uh, the airport and how's yeah. that coming. Uh, uh, obviously we've got HelloPro out there, we've got uh, DRS out there. Uh, we've got the fuel sales going on out there. Old Jed, I'll tell you now that that that's a salesman out there, yeah. that young man. And uh, so, you know, talk a little bit about that. And then the industrial park and one of our favorite people, Seth Hammond. Sure. Okay. We'll be All back right. with more right after this. You got to say it. Keep it real. real. Right. <laughs> Keep it real. Right. Keep God in it. We'll be right back with more right after these messages. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll be right back.